Welcome back everybody, we're here with another quick tutorial today and this is an issue I had recently on my computer as I just upgraded my hardware and stuff and I booted into Windows and I had no icons so after a few Google searches and a few YouTube searches I saw that there were no other tutorials for this. Here we have just a normal program, uh, a shortcut to it and the icon is actually broken and it doesn't appear. Obviously you can live with this, it's just really annoying. I'm going to show you two methods today on how to solve this. The first method you're going to need to restart your computer which is obviously less convenient and the second method uses the command prompt and you don't have to restart your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first method. We're gonna be resetting the icon cache pretty much. So we're gonna be deleting a file in your Windows app data folder. You're gonna go ahead and type in percent app data percent, hit enter, go out of roaming and go to app data right here, go to local and then scroll down to icon cache and you're simply just gonna delete this file and then clear the recycling bin and restart and you should have this icon back. Now let's go ahead and move on to the command prompt method. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch CMD. I'm actually gonna run it as an administrator. Just gonna click that and then press yes. Now that we've launched CMD, we're also gonna launch the task manager. If you don't have that on your uh, task bar, you can just type in task manager right there and enter that in. We're gonna go ahead and kill the explorer.exe process. So that's gonna be down in the Windows processes over here. So we're gonna scroll to the bottom, find this and kill this. You need to have command prompt open and the task manager open so you can restart the explorer.exe process. If you do manage to somehow not have either of those pulled up, you can actually hit control shift escape and that should open up the task manager, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and end this task. So you should see your desktop is completely gone now. We're gonna start with this first command Command. It's gonna be in the description. We're gonna paste this one in, and this is pretty much just telling your computer what directory to look in. So this is going to the app data local folder that we were just in a second ago. Gonna hit enter. Then we're going to enter this one in. That command directs us to the icon cache file itself. So it's just telling Windows to go look at this file. Then we'll enter in this one, which is pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna actually delete the icon cache file just like how we did a few minutes ago in the Windows Explorer. And then we're going to start explorer.exe again through this command. And when it starts back up, we should have our icon. There it is. Perfect. Nice and simple. It didn't have to restart or anything. So I definitely prefer that method, but you can do whatever you're most comfortable with. All right. So if none of the other methods work, we can just do the old fashioned inconvenient way. This will take you a long time. So I do feel bad for you if none of the methods work. Let's say we want to make an icon for Skype. You would just go into program files, go to updater, I believe. No, it is phone. And you would just simply right click and create a shortcut, which is highly inconvenient, but if nothing else works, then this could be a last resort for you. So I actually included three methods in this tutorial, not two. So yeah, bonus one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any tutorial requests or any questions, just leave them down in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.